Hi there guys, Comrade here for iSkySoft Video Editor for Macintosh and today we're going to be showing you how to import various photos and videos from cameras. So I've opened the software, I'll create a new widescreen video and what I'm going to be doing is you can go import media, add video or photo files, add audio files. You can click on this import media button here, you can drag and drop. You can press this plus sign but what I'm going to look at today is the media import screen. So that creates this new box to appear <clears throat> and that will connect to things like your webcam and any other cameras that you have connected to your system. So when you do plug in either your camera itself or the SD card from your camera into your Mac, you'll be able to find a number of things here and just select them. So uh, I've put some movies into my movies category here uh, under the favorites list. You could also get them from iTunes or from your photos library, as well as photo booth, the popular application there, your pictures file or your downloads file. In this case, what I'm going to do is just using the usual parlance of Macintosh, just drag and select a couple of these. So seven items selected here. You can categorize those by video, image, or audio, and you can choose from the different folders here and subfolders that you have available. So drag again, eight items selected, hit import, and they will then load into the software. These are going to load straight directly into the timeline and will be placed in sequential order depending on how they're numbered or how they were selected. So if I click this green arrow here, put everything in, in space, all zoomed in correctly, we have our videos. So uh, just to recap, click on the media import button and then just select from the, the list there of any cameras you might have connected, your webcam that you can record from, or any of your existing directories, videos, photos, that kind of thing. Drag, uh, select those as many as you like and click import and they will be placed onto the timeline. That's your brief guide on how to import videos and photos from your external cameras. Thanks very much for watching. Speak to you next time. Bye.